Cain refused the sacrifice. Hey, welcome back to Soul Reaver 2. Last time we acquired the Light Reavers, then so now we can re-enter the Saraphan Stronghold. We won't be finding any Reaver upgrades in this video. This will only be a story section. So use the Light Reaver, shine a or shoot a projectile at the pink crystal. Open sesame! Nice! <laughs> the doors are open. So I think if you open the doors and walk away, the doors might close, because I know that once you are inside, you have to be shown that the doors close behind you. Okay, there we go, the doors are closing. Okay, so as usual, just ignore the enemies. They're more hassle than they are often worth. Um, if you do need health, it is actually easier to shift to the spectral realm and then put your health up and then shift back to the material realm. So uh, only fight if you are forced to, like now. If you're struggling as well, press X and then quickly you press square, so jump and then attack while you're in combat mode. So it's R1 to target for combat mode. And your attack is a little bit quicker. And actually I think it might be a little bit stronger. Don't quote me, I'm not sure. Okay, so straight through here. So we're inside the chapel section, so we were here in part one, we faced through the gate. It's just on the right hand side to get here, there. I don't want to stand still for too long. But before we came into this section, and we are going to once again. Yourself, Cain. Here, Raziel. Everything is decided here. You cannot comprehend the magnitude, the rapture, and the tragedy of this moment. And yet you must, if Nosgoth is to be dragged from the wreckage of its damnation. I understand only this, Cain. That you and Mobius have impelled me to this moment simply means I can trust neither of you. I don't know who's pulling the strings, but it no longer matters, because I'm cutting them. I set my own course from here. If it were only that simple. Your fatalism is tiresome, Cain. And profoundly ingrained, Raziel. You must understand, our presence here doesn't alter history. You and I meet here because we are compelled to. We have always met here. History is irredeemable. Drop a stone into a rushing river. The current simply courses around it and flows on as if the obstruction were never there. You and I are pebbles, Raziel, and have even less hope of disrupting the time stream. The continuum of history is simply too strong, too resilient. Except, then how do we explain William here? The beloved boy king turned tyrant. In my youth, I witnessed William's rise to power and his transformation into the nemesis who laid waste to Nosgoth. Keep your distance, Kane. Years later, I stumble upon a chance to journey back in history, unaware that the entire affair has been carefully orchestrated by Mobius. 
In my wisdom, I seize this opportunity to murder the young king before he can ravage Nosgoth, and thereby provide the catalyst Mobius needs to ignite a genocidal war against our race. I warn you, no further. This one reckless act unravels the skein of history. The nemesis never becomes the nemesis. William dies a martyred saint. I, the vampire assassin, become the author of my own species' extinction, and Mobius profits from it all. I destroyed a tyrant only to create one far worse. But how can it be so? How, if history is immutable? The answer is here in this room, Raziel. Mobius propelled William and me together, but ensured first that we were both armed with the Soul Reaver. The Reaver is the key. Two incarnations of the Blade meet in time and space. A paradox is created, a temporal distortion powerful enough to derail history. Is this your sorcery? Not mine, Raziel. Yours. You have nothing to fear from me, Raziel. You hold all of the cards. Then perhaps I should test your sincerity. If what you say is true, you should be terrified. I could kill you here and now. And so you do, Razia. History rushing to meet us. This is where history and destiny collide. If you truly believe in free will, Raziel, now is the time to prove it. Kill me now, and we both become pawns of history, dragged down the path of an artificial destiny. I was ordained to assume the role of Balance Guardian in Nosgoth, while you were destined to be its savior. But the map of my fate was redrawn by Mobius, and so in turn was yours. This is madness! Fight it, Raziel. This moment does not have to be an ending. It can become a prelude. I can't! You can, Raziel. Look inside and see that it is so. You have the power to reshape our inevitable futures. It may yet be possible for me to assume my role as Balance Guardian and return the Pillars to their rightful inheritors. To the Vampires. And this is the destiny you have urged me to discover. I don't know what game you and Mobius are playing, Cain, but I refuse to be your pawn. Unlike you, I still revere whatever shred of humanity I've managed to preserve. You will not use me as the instrument of your messianic delusions. Very well, Raziel. I'll not ask you to trust me. Your truths are for you to discover alone. Humble words for one who presumes to teach me a lesson at every turn. Then continue your journey and learn your own lessons, Raziel. Remember, Mobius led you here, but you walk away unfettered. A champion of free will and conqueror of false histories. There is much more for you to unearth, if you have the heart for the truth and the will to see it. OK, 
Okay, so the story got a little weird there. Raziel was supposed to kill Cain, but he refused. He refused, and things got a bit wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Also, we've lost the Light Reaver, but you can get it back at that font just over there, or if you like, you can get the Dark Reaver at that font over there. So now let's move on. I'll not bother getting a, a different Reaver, whatever, mine's fine. Um, so even though as we were leaving, we went through this door in part one, but this is the door we want to go through right now. So we're just heading back to the time streaming device near the one we came out at the start of the game, that's the plan. We have access to that now, now we have the Light Reaver. And we want to go back in time to speak to Janos Audrun. So let me just find a weapon, there's some enemies in this room. Ladies, please. Okay. So when you're done here, you do not want to go up the stairs. That's the way we went, we went the first time. I always forget there is a fourth enemy in the room. So we're not going upstairs. There's only one door upstairs and that is blocked off. So it's very linear, this game. If the game doesn't want you to go in a particular direction, you can't go in that direction. So you are forced to take the path it shows you. Okay, so we are forced to fight just here and you are better off killing the cannoneer first because while you're trying to kill the other guy, this guy just lobs his cannons at you and it's pretty annoying. Okay, so proceed. So just run straight through this courtyard. You are not forced to fight here. And when you want to open a door, and you, you have to stop for a moment before you can press action, which can be annoying when you're being chased by enemies, such as the dogs I've just been chased by, so quite lucky that I got to actually open the door. Come on. And I'm quite stubborn, I don't always use the reaver. <laughs> Oh, I can't see. Okay, eat all the souls. Nom nom nom. Let's move on. Oh, another one. Yep, okie dokie, good to go. Oh, 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 there's people. They're waiting. Okay, and these people actually get in the way. You see the light font in the distance? If you didn't already grab the light reaver, that's where you're going to want to get it. Excuse me, sir. Okay, so it can be annoying when you're trying to use the font and these guys are just pestering you. So these cannoneers seem to have the least amount of health for some reason. Don't know why, but whatever. Okay, so use the font. So not every font actually has one of the shades, but most of them do. Okay, so here we are, back where we started. So find the timing 
time streaming device that has the pink crystal and then shoot the crystal and then we will get a cutscene. Ah yes, I like that look on your face, Mobius. You really don't know what to do now, do you, old man? Here you are, caught without your damn staff. I suspect things aren't progressing quite as you'd hoped. You're not used to the fly turning to confront you in your web, are you? Kane's devious influence has poisoned your mind, Razio. Now you see betrayal everywhere, even in your closest allies. We were never allies, Mobius. Conspirators, perhaps. Briefly. Why did you not kill Kane when you had the chance? He was at your mercy. Precisely. I had a choice. And I chose mercy. And now I know your sordid little secret. The significance of that displacement I felt when the two Reavers came together. Strangely enough, I was enlightened by the devious Cain, not by you. In fact, I've learned much more than you counted on. I understand now how you've tried to manipulate all of history for your own personal gain. But now all your little schemes are whirling in ruin around you, aren't they? All because I chose to exert my will for once, rather than obey the demands of sorcerers and spirits and demons, all singing the same tiresome refrain, Kill Cain! I'm setting my own path from here, Mobius. I intend to discover the truth behind all of this. But you condemn us all with this impetuous act. Hardly impetuous. It took all the will I could muster. Has my refusal to kill Cain reshuffled your carefully stacked deck of cards? You really think that you're exercising your free will, Razio? You're simply Cain's servant. I do not serve Cain. I merely did not kill him. Raziel, do not forget your purpose here. You are destined to be the savior of Nosgoth. Oh, I'm sick of hearing that particular phrase. As for saving Nosgoth, so far I see precious little reason to bother. And I'll choose my own purpose from here on out, time streamer. Right now, I choose to manipulate you for a change. Go. In there. What are you doing? Come now, Mobius. You're a cunning serpent. You'll piece it together, I imagine. This error is of no further use to me. You will operate this device to provide me passage. I want to see the world in a simpler time, before the Saraphan began their crusade. And what about Cain? You're leaving your quarry behind. You kill him if it's so damned important. You need only touch the two poles of the switch, and the device will transport you. But I urge you to reconsider. You've lost your powers of persuasion, old man. Rot here, and forget me. Well, I don't trust the look that was on Mobius's face. How about you? So just exit, walk to the door. Even as I emerged from that infernal time streaming chamber, I suspected treachery, a stronghold vacant, derelict, abandoned. Okay, so we've got demons now. I'm gonna grab a sword because I'm stubborn. So these demons are pushovers. Oh, I didn't even grab a sword. Well, that's fine. Um, 
So those are blade demons. I can't remember their official names, but I will call them blade demons, and they are the easiest demon you will come across. Okay, so here we've got humans fighting electric electric demons, and these ones are pretty nasty demons, so if you don't have to fight them, try not to. I'm gonna let them duke it out, because even if you go over there and fight, they're both going to be attacking you. Humans and demons will both attack you at the same time. So uh, let them just thin each other's herd out, and then we can get involved. So he looks like he's doing a pretty good job. Nice. So if we approach, we'll have some more demons spawn. We'll have the blade demons. Okay, so more than one, so I'm gonna urge this one to come over here. Why did the human come? Human, please. Go to your own demon. You're messing up my walkthrough. guy gonna come over? Are they gonna fight each other? No, I'm, I'm gonna probably die. Yeah, that's how much easier it is with the Soul Reaver. <laughs> I'm too stubborn. Oh wow, look at that health that I just got back. Okay, I hate everyone. Right. Try not to be bitter. Okay, so here, straight ahead, there is a blocked gate. I've got a feeling one of these guys is supposed to be in the room on the right hand side. But anyway, as we approach, we will spawn an electric demon. But the gate is open on the right, so just rush in to the right. Oh, you will get a barrier like so, it's fine. So often there is another human in this room with these two blade demons, but he might be the one that wandered out and is outside. Okay, so continue. Okay, this bit can be pretty tricky, so we'll get another barrier as we come through here. There's three humans and there will be three electric demons. I like to. Oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Well, this is fine. I can thin out this guy, just get rid of him. Okay. So, what's occurring? Oh, they already killed one of the humans. Uh, everyone is dead, okay. They're just wandering around looking for something to do. Best way to do this, try and lure one at a time. I know there's two kind of close right now. Let me see if I can go to the one that's nearer here. So let him come inside. There we go. Uh, see how much damage this guy is doing. These guys are the worst. Oh, it's not a good day. Oh, and there's two of them. Okay, and I died. <laughs> it's not a good day. So, yes, they are also present in the spectral realm. Okay, so it's easier with the Soul Reaver. They can't block as well, so that's one thing to bear in mind. Okay, 
It's not a good day. Definitely not. Is this is this a person? I thought this was a weapon. I do apologize. Oh, it's a cannon, so it is a weapon. Just not one I can use. I like the swords. I don't think there's any swords. Whatever. I'll take this. This is fine. So, continue... Straight across. There's two cannoneers. Ignore them. Okay, and in here you want a good strat. So, inside there's two humans, two electric demons, which are affected by the force field, so once you step inside you will get a barrier. And there's also a blade demon just chilling out in the corner. So once you kill the electric demons, the force field will disappear. It's got nothing to do with the blade demon. So they did not last long. So the blade demon just doesn't do much. So don't go inside. You want to coax these guys one at a time, shoot a projectile, get this guy to come to you. This other guy's a little close actually, he doesn't usually come that close to the door. So I forgot to mention to put your weapon down. You don't need to throw it like I always throw it. Just crouch and then press action and Razia will place it down. Missed. Oh, that wasn't good. Come on. Hello. Hello. Well, that makes up for dying. <laughs> okay, so now let's just enter. We'll deal, deal with the blade demon just for good measure because they are the biggest pushovers of all the demons. They kind of can still do a lot of damage to you though, so be aware of that. Don't be fooled by them. So it is good to alternate between your high attacks and your low attacks, so square is the normal attack and triangle is a high attack, you lift enemies into the air. So it's good to switch between them because as you're trying to spam, which is what you do, <laughs> you um, give the enemies the opportunity to go to attack, which means they break their block. So that gives you the chance to actually hit them. So again, we're not going upstairs in that room. I do not remember what enemies are around the corner. I think it's two electric demons. Yes. Oh, that was rude. So if you get the enemy on top of this ledge, like is what's happening now, that is good. That is good. They don't attack you as well as they could do. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck on the ledge. It looks as though if you are also on the ledge, that's also helpful. As long as they don't keep attacking, because I'm sure they could. I'm doing quite well now. <laughs> don't want to jinx it, but I'm doing well. Okie dokie. What room's this? I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Okay. If I had
had any doubts about the error I now occupied, this grotesque tableau certainly eliminated them. For here was Mobius, long since murdered by Cain, lionized and beatified as the martyred leader of his bloodthirsty crusade. And if I required further evidence, I needed only to behold the gruesome trophy Mobius held aloft. A severed head of Vorador. The final triumphant kill of Mobius's cutthroat mob. His execution marked the annihilation of the vampires. Far from channeling me into Nosgoth's past, Mobius had propelled me over a century to its ghastly future. The intent behind this little detour was unmistakable. Having failed to make me his obedient assassin, Mobius intended to keep me ignorant of my true destiny, which clearly lay in Nosgoth's past. While his deception only reinforced my purpose, Mobius had effectively stranded me here. This left me no course but to explore the era I now occupied and see what changes the century had wrought following Cain's ill-fated decision. Perhaps time had cleared a path for me into the mountains, where I might unearth more clues behind the mystery of Janos Audrin. Okay, so confirmed, we have been sent to the wrong time era. We've been sent forward in time. Not as far forward as Salt River 1, but we do not want to be here. Ooh, that's a strong attack that he tried and he missed. Ow. Okay, that, that strong attack there. That one. <laughs> I'm glad he missed that twice. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, get in my belly. Get in there quick. Oh, the other soul already disappeared. That's annoying. Okay, so once we go through the gate, so let me just show you that we are in King William's Chapel, but we can't go over to his actual tomb over there. That's blocked off right now. Um, once we go through the gate, there's two blade demons and two electric demons, and I'm gonna ignore them all and just run straight forward to the door. But don't forget, you need to stop for a brief moment so that you can open the door. The action does not work if you are running and then press action. So it can be difficult. Yes. Raziel. What pathetic charade is this now, Mobius? No charade, Raziel. Only the entreaties of this martyred spirit. Your pleas mean nothing to me after all your deceit. You have propelled me into Nosgoth's future, Mobius, and left me stranded here. I am truly sorry, Raziel, but it was necessary. Consider it the last valiant act of a doomed man. You have strayed from your purpose. And now behold the result. Gaze upon the wasteland you and Cain offered together. I fail to see how I'm responsible. You spared Cain, and by doing so, you have released a multitude of horrors upon this world. I can accept that Cain has murdered me, as, as the Time Guardian. I foresaw that incident long before it occurred. And I take some small comfort in the fact that Cain remains the sole survivor of his vile breed. But you have single-handedly made my sacrifice meaningless. Your argument is disingenuous, Time Streamer. I cannot see how killing or sparing Cain's future self would alter these events. This wasteland was created by Cain's original refusal at the Pillars. 
amidst all these twists and turns, that event has never changed. You are cunning, Rubius. I think you've gotten tired of you for me. As Cain clings to his precious seat of power, the pillars sink into a mire of decay, dragging all of Nosgoth down with them. I don't think this has anything to do with the pillars or Cain's failure to sacrifice himself. I think you're simply afraid because you don't know what he's up to. He's a wild card, isn't he? And you don't want his influence in your game. Which is why you wanted me to eliminate him. Well, now that he survived, you have no idea what's coming, do you? Maybe for the first time in your entire life. You're terrified that he may have truly found a third option out of the dilemma you orchestrated for him. Cain's lies have addled your mind. Leave this place and trouble my spirit no more. If you even are a spirit, you forgot me. I have a way to tell for sure. If you're willing to risk it. Either way, you lose. Hmm, don't like Mobius. Okay, so continue through this door. Okie dokie. Uh, yes, there is a right turn. I'm going to throw my weapon over there. We're going to have another force field, but I'm going to use my reader. So, yes, these guys mostly are pushovers, but we're surrounded. Oh, that was dumb of me. So, even though claws are not as helpful, um, they're not as strong, but they are quick. They are a little quicker. You don't have to reach either. So, sometimes claws can be better. It's difficult to judge. So, once you've defeated them, we can continue and we can leave the stronghold. So, hop in the water if you happen to die between there and here, getting out of the stronghold. There is a portal in the water. Ooh. Ooh. I would like to leave the water, please. There we go. So, there is a save altar if you need it. And I'm going to proceed along the path. So we are at a bit of a loss. So we've been hurled to the wrong time. We've, bon we've been taken forward in time. We wanted to go back in time to speak to Janos Ordren. But what do we do? Don't know. We're stuck. Dilemma. So it's kind of like part one where we were following the trail see what we had to do. So this is what we're doing now. What do we do? Oh gosh, I thought I'd kill that cannoneer and get some health, but uh, nope, abort, abort. Okay, so across this bridge we will come back to a familiar landmark. I'm going to be stealthy because there are some enemies. So this one guy will first see you. He's he's kind of slowly edging sideways. I thought he might come a little closer. Okay, two of them. That's not good. Okay, the other guy's moving away now. Come on. I want him just on his own. There's two guys and a dog. Come on. Come on, there we go. Oh, well, I just threw him, out, threw him out away. <laughs> so I want him to come over. I don't want the two guys together. Yeah. 
goodness. Get out of the water. Okay, this is fine. I'm not dead. Wow, that was a lot of health. Success, whatever. So this path is blocked. So what we need to do to get around is this obelisk is now broken. So we can just climb up the obelisk. So also as we approach those stairs, we'll get a new demon, a gas demon. So let me slowly show you. I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to run away very bravely. So that's what he looks like. And these um, flaming torches on the wall, you can actually grab them, take them with you. So we will be heading to the pillars again. So there's the door just around the corner and this time there's no bars in front of them. So we can just go ahead and ignore these enemies and open the door. These were the pillars so familiar to my blighted eyes. But now that I had begun to learn their true significance, I regarded the pillars' destruction with a new, enlightened sense of horror. And I questioned now whether Cain's simple refusal, his mere ambition, could truly have caused such devastation. I felt that some darker influence was at work here. As I approached, I discerned the spirit of Ario, bound here now for more than a century. Forever am I bound, hope abandoned, my spirit tethered to this place. What destroyed the circle could not touch me, for I was newly dead and beyond harm's reach. I alone was spared the descent into madness, and Cain alone was spared the pain of death. When Nepraptor's poison seized Cain even in the safety of the womb, much more than just his destiny was lost. All of Norsgoth lost balance. Consider us now, both of us less than we once were. I, pure but insubstantial, and came terribly real, but corrupted. Your imprisonment here has deranged you, spirit. You fixate on Cain because you believe he is the tether that binds you here. We both know he is not the author of your agony. The pillars were subverted by dark forces, invited by the guardians themselves. The more I learn of your circle, the more I see a tangle of nested manipulations. Cain handed them their victory. They sought to topple the pillars, and he was their willing instrument. Or was he their unwilling pawn? Would it blunt your wrath to know that Cain's dilemma was calculated to bring the pillars down, regardless of the choice he made, and that the devastation would have been even greater had he chosen the path you were prescribed for him? You are a subtle, deceitful creature. But your clever arguments do not absolve Cain. He must die for the pillars to be restored. There is no other way. Then consider this more ominous possibility. What if Cain's death does not restore the pillars? Consider that it may simply be too late, that this world may be beyond redemption, and that you may be bound here eternally.
Why do you hound me, demon? You can see that I am captive here. Show me some mercy. Like the mercy you showed your fellow guardians when you set Cain on them? Or the mercy you showed Cain when you kept him ignorant of his destiny while you used him as the scourge of the circle? Or perhaps like the mercy you showed your beloved Nepraptor when you made him Cain's first kill? You are cruel. Why do you torment me? I'm merely looking for answers, Ariel. Ah, very well. I'll leave you in peace. But know this about you and this purgatory from which you long to escape. You're merely at the threshold. Okay, so we have met Ariel again, except she doesn't know who Raziel is. She's not met him before, so it's very wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Um, so if you go exploring in this area now, you will spawn some demons, which is not necessary. You may as well save yourself the hassle. There is only one way to go anyway. But we'll have a brand new enemy, and he's even stronger than the electric demons. So just ignore. Ignore. Hello. Goodbye. Ignore. Ignore. Hate them. Ooh. 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 You tried. So we will be forced now to fight a gas demon, just around the corner. Easy peasy and spectral. Okay, and continue. Okay. Excuse me, Beacon. Thank you. Do your job. You have one job. <laughs> so there's another demon, but we can just go ahead and ignore it. Okay, and in we come. So the door is closing, that's important. Okay, so in here we still have the shades, but now we will also have some blade demons. So you can ignore every single one of them, except for two. So you are... That just hit that demon, that's so funny. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, I took a wrong turn. Okay, once you come down these steps, no one will follow you and it's the two down here, you are forced to fight. Okay, so we had this barrier, and now it's gone, so it's just those two there. Raziel, the failed assassin. You had Cain at your mercy, but lacked the courage to fulfill the act. And now you see the wasteland wrought by the tyrant's hand, by his selfish decision to preserve his own life, even when it meant sacrificing the whole world. This is the fate of Nosgoth, as long as Cain remains alive. An ironic condemnation given this guilty sin. One would think you'd torn down the pillars single-handedly. What are you trying to obliterate as you drag your loathsome body through this chamber? And why, as Nosgoth descends into madness and misery, do you appear to thrive? Things in this world I am learning are rarely what they seem. You, apparently, are no exception. 
I am the engine of life, the source of Nosgoth's very existence. I am the hub of the wheel, the origin of all life, the devourer of death. Or maybe you're just hungry. Could it be as simple as that? Wouldn't that be poetic irony? The great adversary of the vampires turns out to be the biggest parasite of them all. Do not test my patience, Raziel. I made you, and I will unmake you if I become so inclined. As your agent, I am beyond death. There are fates worse than death, Raziel. Oh, I see you now as you truly are. A cancer. A spooling parasite burrowed deep in the heart of this world. Go now. Play out your pitiful rebellion and take your place among the destroyed, the used, and the damned. But know this. You are mine for eternity. You have always been, and will always be, my soul reaver. Okay, so there is a save point over there if you need it. A save altar. And we've got these demons now, but you can ignore them by jumping into the water. We're going to enter the subterranean ruins again, so just look out for the lights. They will guide you to the passage. So more shades and more demons, just ignore them, walk on up, and at the top of the slope you can just hop straight down. Okay, and we can see the water level here has, has subsided significantly. So you want to come to the right hand side because, spoiler alert, we're going to need a dark reaver. Okay, so it's pretty annoying to get, uh, to get to the point where you need it and then have to come back the distance. So it's, it's not really that close by. It's not too far away, but it's just so out of the way, but it's still pretty annoying. So some of this we have to make on foot now because there's no water. <laughs> so you hop out and again back in. And there's this marker on the ground again, so this is where you want to swim straight up. Okay, and now up to here. And glide straight across here. Okay, there is another demon. Ignore, whatever, don't care. Okay. And now glide across, and we can see this is where we need the Dark Weaver. We need to make a shadow bridge. So, as usual, don't dilly dally crossing the shadow bridge because most of them. My goodness, I cannot speak. Most of them do not stay. Okay, and here we are back at the swamp. So I don't know if I can kill one of these enemies and not attract the attention of the other one. So these enemies are new. I actually don't know what they are called. I can't remember. Um, but they're only in the swamp. He's seen me actually, so that's good. I wonder if he can come over here. He does a little bit of a dance over there for some reason. Maybe if I come closer, he will come closer. Oh, I thought it was actually going to come on over then. Ooh. Nope, he's still not coming over. He's actually blocking my attacks.
Well, that's annoying. It, it might be helpful that I'm down here. Okay, this is helpful. This is very helpful. Cool. Cool beans. Okay. Beyond this edifice lay my sole hope of escaping this demon-infested wasteland. The time-streaming device contained therein offered my only prospect of journeying back into Nosgoth's early history. Unless I discovered some means of breaking the seal, I was condemned to be stranded here eternally. Okay, so this is the second time that that time-streaming device has been pointed out to us. So now it's more of a hint. Why aren't you moving? <laughs> You're just standing still. Uh, it's more of a hint that that's what we're aiming to do right now. We need to get in. And this gate is not here anymore because we kicked it in centuries ago. Um, yes, so we need to get into that time streaming device, but how do we do that? Okay, so I will be rounding off the video very soon. Here is the save altar that I will be stopping off at. But first, I'm going to activate another cutscene. So I'm going to head up here again, like I did in part one. The passage of time had indeed cleared my way forward, enabling me to explore the northern mountains of Nosgoth. I was anxious to discover if some evidence of Janos Ordrin's existence might still remain. Okay, so it showed us that we have a new path we can take. We've got a new area that's opened up to us now. So that's what this passage of time has done. And now I'm just going to go back to the save altar and that is where I will end. So next time we will be heading up to that new area. Now you guys can deal with each other, leave me alone. So, yeah, they will have followed me. I know that. <laughs> Get off my save altar. Can you not? There's going to be a kerfuffle here. Bear with me. You know, this... This is my save altar. Okay. I kind of don't actually know if my health will be full when I reload. That's something I have never noticed. I have a feeling it won't be, so I'm kind of glad I filled it up right now. So anyway, next time we will be heading into the new area and seeing what there is to do. How can we open up that new time streaming device? I will see you there. Take it easy, guys and girls.